Welcome to Analog. I'm Lisa Foyles, your red-haired host. And speaking of redheads, there is nothing I love more than a ginger protagonist, especially one with a giant mega sword. Child of Light, the platforming RPG for all modern consoles, PC, and recently released for Vita, stars Aurora, a young princess who wakes up in a mysterious and somber fairy tale world. If you miss the whimsy and need another adventure in a similar style, then here are three games like Child of Light. I told you I love redheads, and Transistor, an action RPG for PS4 and PC, stars a nightclub singer appropriately named Red. Child of Light and Transistor begin in a similar fashion. You're in a strange world and the game tells you very little. Red removes a giant sword from a dead man's body. This is the Transistor. Both Red and the dead man's voices are trapped inside this weapon, and the man acts as a narrator. The narrating voice guides you and helps piece together the story's mystery as Red tries to uncover what has happened to her world, Cloudbank, and defeat the evil force known as the Process. While Child of Light is traditional turn-based combat, Transistor puts a spin on it. When an enemy approaches, you can pause time, draw your intended attacks, then Red carries them out in sequence. It's a mixture of turn-based and real-time. Transistor differs from Child of Light in the sense that it's a sci-fi technological city instead of a fairy tale, yet they both share the same color palette and hand-drawn art. They are both games with soul, a touch of magic, and a redhead. Did I mention that? Here's another title by Supergiant Games, but while Transistor is only for PS4 and PC, Bastion is available to 360 owners and takes place in the sky. You, as the kid, awaken after the Calamity, a catastrophic event that has fractured your world into many pieces, suspended in the air. You set off for the Bastion, a safe haven for survivors, but how you get there isn't average platforming. As you travel from floating piece to floating piece, the world forms under your feet. This instant level creation drives you forward and directs your progress, but be careful because you're now in danger of plummeting off the edge. Don't worry, anytime you fall or do something stupid, the grisly voice narrator is there to comment and make fun of you. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. This bit of humor puts a lighter spin on an otherwise dark tale. Like Child of Light, this game looks like a bright storybook, but it gets more and more somber as you progress. If Child of Light's battles were a bit slow for you, then Bastion speeds things up with normal action combat, plus varied weapons and the ability to upgrade them. You must move quick, be aware of your space, and know which quirky enemy to strike first. My favorite moments as Aurora were the times I got to fly through the air, forgetting my troubles and just floating. If you feel the same way, then swap soaring for swimming in the indie game Aquaria. In line with the other suggestions, Aquaria boasts gorgeous hand-drawn environments and an enchanting musical score. You play as Nyjah, a woman with fish-like features who has lost her memory. You embark on a journey to learn about your past and your home. Instead of being guided, you're in an open world underwater, able to swim where you please. You get rewarded for exploring. Puzzles range from simple to, holy crap, I need a walkthrough. Combat can be tough, but you'll get a little help along the way. In Child of Light, Igniculus is Aurora's glowing companion who helps with healing and blinds enemies. Similarly, Aquaria has pets that you acquire after defeating bosses, and they provide combat assistance. For example, Piranha bites and devours, Dumbo creates a glow of light, and Blaster's got firepower. Aquaria is a game for patient players who love getting lost in a mysterious, haunting story. Each of these games requires focus, creativity in combat, and have an art style that is to die for. But Aquaria is the only game with happy dolphins and sea otters, if you're into that. Leave a comment with games you think are like Child of Light, plus send me a tweet at LisaFoils. I'll see you next week on Analog.